But this is a really good example of a, of a hero image. It tells you exactly what comes with the product, the packaging, key information, so all the different features that the product has. There's a ball picker. we are shown an example of how the ball picker works. All very simply done. Hello, and welcome to another episode of What's Working in E-Commerce. I'm your host, Egan Heath from Asymmetric Marketing. You can find out the work we do for clients at asymmetric.pro. We build WordPress, WooCommerce websites, do business and marketing strategy, on-site SEO, uh, PPC advertising, paid social, email marketing, all kinds of things. So check us out there. Today, I'm speaking with someone who's an expert in imagery and content for your product pages, both Amazon and on your website. I'm happy to have Siddharth from Dresma. Siddharth, welcome. Hi, Ethan. Great to be here. So tell us a little bit about Dresma and uh, what it does. We started Dresma about four years ago with the idea of helping sellers create all the content that they need to succeed online. So we do everything from listing images. We have a product photography app that sellers can use to clip their own product images, get professional quality outcomes. And then we have an AI-powered uh, web app that essentially creates all the context. So you can have your products uh, on models. You can have them in different rooms, different surroundings. All of that can be done at any point in time. That's great. And I know I was looking at your LinkedIn here. And I saw I think you had a presentation or a keynote kind of about just how important this is. I wonder if you can talk about that. Of why sure. is it could be UGC, could be lifestyle content, mm -hmm. even just professional um, product photography. Why is that yeah, so, so important for e-commerce sellers? So it's, it's the analogy I always say is with physical stores, right? So you want to start at the window shopping level at the, at the point where somebody is just browsing, draw them into the store to give them a little bit more information, talk to them a little bit more about your brand, and then essentially to get the conversion done to actually get a sale in place. <clears throat> so that whole journey is very important. And I can share, let me just share my screen and I can talk through a little bit on how that journey works. If you look at the, the Amazon page, once you've actually, once a, a user or a browser has done a search, you get to the listings page where all the search results are shown. Uh, if you look at just the hero images, it's very important to, to have the right hero image in place. If you look at the, uh, the examples here, the leftmost um, uh, examples on, on both the rows, uh, it's very difficult to understand the context and the size of the products. How are you going to use it? Is it small? Is it big? It doesn't really tell you enough about the product to draw the user into the product page itself. So you're going to lose that that browser or that that customer right at that stage. Uh, so, if, but if you look at the images on the right hand side, they are actually showing the product in use in context. It shows you how big the products are, what they can be used for. So it gives just the the user. Uh, the potential customer, some ideas on how they can use this product in their setting for their requirements. It's really important to have the right hero image up front so that you actually draw the person into the uh, to your store or into, into your product itself. Yeah, I love this example, and it seems like such a simple thing. But it's yeah, in, and in the initial one, we've, we've got some shelving units or some waste mm -hmm. baskets or something, but mm -hmm. we can't quite picture them in our office or in our house versus. Mm -hmm. When we see them actually, we might say staged, right? And uh, with mm -hmm. things in them and things yeah. next to them, the the consumer can start to picture where this would go in their house or their office. And it's actually, yeah. it's we're just farther down that journey of, oh yeah, this would go great in my home office or at my office at work or in our living room exactly. or what have you. And it's just, it's like farther than that journey versus it's a total abstraction if you just can mm -hmm. have a white background of your product and no context, right? Exactly. Exactly. So the, the, right off the bat, you want the, the customer to start uh, thinking about possibilities, uh, where they can use it, how they can use it. So that that's very important in the start of the journey. Great example. So, Thank you. So if you look at this, is a really good example of a, of a hero image. It tells you exactly what comes with the product, the packaging, key information. So it just says yeah, USB proof. So if there is validation on the on the hero image as well. Plus, it gives you all the different features that the product has. There's a ball picker, so they've shown an example of how the ball picker works as well. All very simply done. User looks at this image and immediately can tell exactly how the how the product will work or how they can use this product. So in this case, we see some pickleball rackets, right? Mm -hmm. Some pickleballs mm -hmm. and a sort of a case, like you said. And exactly. are you saying you like this example? This is good. Display this is, everything. This out. is a good example. Yeah. This Versus is a good example. 
if we just show the, if one you just, just one bracket, yeah, if you mm-hmm. just you show one bracket, it really doesn't work that well. Okay, give me the full bundle, and I can picture. Hey, my family and I are going to take this out. We're actually going to mm-hmm. go play, right? Would, exactly. Do, do you think even better would be some lifestyle images of people playing too? Yes. What's the next so, step beyond this? So, so this is the uh, just the first image that the user sees when they're seeing a, the, a search result. So you can't share. Amazon doesn't allow you to show multiple images there. It just lets you show one image, right? So. With that one image, you want to give the context. You want to try tell them exactly what when when the user makes the purchase, what will they be getting, and how they can use it, right? So that's just the first image. Once you start getting into onto the product page, and the whole idea of the hero image is to get the user onto the product page, right? So that's a, the here is when you start talking about your brand and you start giving a little bit more context and actually clinch the sale, right? So that this is the the conversion from a buyer, from a from a browser to a buyer. So I'll give you two examples here for both jewelry. This is a basic listing on Amazon. This is not a bad basic listing. So they've shown you a couple of examples. They've given you the scale of the product. But there's no real engagement with the brand. There's no there's no information about why a person should be buying buying a product like this. With the uh, with the tools that are in place right now, through us or through other suppliers, you can get a lot richer uh, content. Even for this, is just handmade jewelry, so it's, it's low value, low skew count products, but you can still get the uh, get a lot of content done that can convert buyers a lot quicker. So here it actually shows you the, uh, the jewelry in different, um, with different lifestyles. They even have a model image in place. So the buyer starts relating to uh, to the product a lot easier. That's also a good um, uh, image of packaging itself that they use of getting the product in. And then there is the whole A plus area where they're actually talking about the brand, why they started it, what, what makes it unique, and then just to just much more information that the user starts actually relating to the product. Uh, so that they can actually then they make a conversion into a buyer. Yeah, I like that example of earrings again. Just with if we just see them up close, it's good to see them up mm-hmm. close. It's good to yeah. visualize what it's, they it's, look like. Yeah. But if it's just a white yeah. background and we have no context, how large are these? What do they look like mm-hmm. on someone's ears? Mm-hmm. It's just that next step of I need to start seeing this in my life. I need to visualize mm-hmm. it, right? Mm-hmm. If you white background images are very important. Because it, uh, it gives you it gives the, uh, the buyer a lot of information about the product, but they're very utilitarian. There's no there's no connect with the buyer with the, uh, with the potential buyer, right? Uh, that context uh, is what what sets that connection. And to be clear, everything we're talking about, Siddharth, that we're looking it looks like an Amazon listings, but the same would mm-hmm. apply on same the DTC same website. On, exactly same would apply on DTC website. I can show you a little bit more of an example with the fashion that is actually for, uh, for a customer of ours. So these these are two images. The left one is just a, just a product image in a solid background. It's a nice image with the model selling a T-shirt. On the right hand side, it's basically that's an AI generated background and model of of a T-shirt as well. So there, there's a lot more context. The user can feel uh, to be in that setting and understand how they would actually be using the product. So it's just more a lot more of an emotional connect with the product right off the bat. So that that's something that's very important in commerce because you don't have the in some sense the luxury of the physical store to actually give give the context or the brand brand story. So you do need to be able to do that through the imagery. Yeah, and that's a good reminder. Is just that mm-hmm. we we're, again we're coming from this world of bricks and mortar physical stores and shops and things mm-hmm. in a mall or whatever. In a boutique, mm-hmm. and then it's now we've got to somehow reproduce that as best we can in two dimensions, exactly. oftentimes. And so, how do we paint that picture? How do we visualize that? And I also want to jump ahead a little bit. If you're saying these are this is AI gem- generated on the right, is that correct? Yes, yes. So this Very is the product. In, so the product mm-hmm. image was clicked on a mannequin, and then effectively that was transferred onto the onto this into the setting through AI. Yeah, fascinating. And I think part of the what people might be used to before this is. You do an expensive photo shoot, right? And you get all yeah, your so products, the, so the, and you get models, and you do a shoot, yeah. and that can cost, what, tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, right? Yeah, and then large volumes. The, the image on the left, if you were doing a photo shoot, would cost you upwards of $50, $100 an image, right? Sure. Uh, the image on the right, uh, you can click on our app and get this image out for about $10 to $12. You said 10 to 12 Wow. So quite, quite the... Cost savings could be 10x savings. Yeah, and, and it's immediate, right? That that image can be with you in two hours. The image on the left, by the time you pull products out of warehouse, send them to studio, get the photographer arranged, do all of that can be six weeks. 
Pretty interesting. Yeah, great. So it's just the, the speed and the, and the cost can really be much less here if we make this AI generated. I appreciate you showing yeah. us this. Those are the examples I had um, in place. I can show you a little bit about uh, how Dresma goes about doing this. And uh, so we have essentially three sets of tools available. One's a mobile app that essentially acts as a full photo studio. And you can do all your product photography on here. You can get uh, professional quality outcomes from that workflow for all your listing images um, can be done there, whether you're shooting fashion, home decor, all of that can be, uh, can be done in here. Uh, we couple that with, with our design studio. So once your, once your product images are in our system, you can click on our app or just upload your existing product images. We have a full design studio available with lots of different templates, all of, uh, a lot of AI background powered workflows that convert these uh, images into lifestyle shots, infographics, like you saw on, uh, uh, on the hero images, uh, you know, you get, get the product into context and maybe talk a little bit about uh, the product features right on the on the image itself. And then we also have a, a full listing generator. You can start with a single image of your product and the listing generator will, will give you uh, titles, descriptions, all, a, all SEO optimized as well as give you some four variations of lifestyle images. And the next month, we're going to launch uh, infographics as well. So it'll actually pull product features out and actually do the infographics on the fly as well. Pretty interesting. Wow. I don't know if this is a good question, Sarath. I have to ask in this world of AI-generated images, do you ever mm -hmm. run into Uncanny Valley problems where someone's face mm -hmm. looks odd or they have six fingers or something yeah. like that? Yeah, so what uh, what we have uh, available um, even is uh, is what we call the service model, which is our pro services. So you can do all the generations, use the studio for free on our solution, you can log in and, uh, and do that. If you feel you need that extra professional touch, retouching, or you want a, a designer to actually work on your images, that's available right off the platform. Oh, very neat. Okay. And what should people have ready? Of, do they need those base, that basic product photography? What should people be ready to start with when they look at something like this? So if you have product images already there, you can just uh, go onto our design studio, upload and try out the solution. If you need product images, download our app. Uh, you can click the product images right on there. Uh, so it's a guided photo shoot. You pick your product category. It will show you how to place the products, which angles you should be clicking based on the product category. All of that information is right on the app. That's awesome. And I see there's a verticals tab in here. Are there certain types of e-commerce, certain types of products that this works especially well for? It looks like clothing, furniture, jewelry. Yeah, so, so I'll show you some. These are some of some free uh, tools that, that we have. These are the background removal. All of this is available free on the platform. Let me show you some sample imagery. So this is for fashion. You can essentially do what we call a model swap. So if you have imagery already in the clip in the past or have uh, for, uh, you know, product images from the past and you want to refresh them, uh, that can be done on the platform. Uh, if you want to shoot on a mannequin, convert it into a model image, that can be done as well. Uh, shot in studio, take it out onto uh, into an outdoor setting. Uh, all of that is uh, is possible uh, uh, with, the, with the AI that uh, that we have in place. So our most popular categories are fashion accessories, jewelry, home decor, furniture, all of the verticals we serve. I mean, a number of customers using the solution. Yeah. Wow. That's excellent. Anything else I should ask you about here, Sarah? This has been utterly fascinating. I hope people check it out. It's at dresma.com, T-R-E-S-M-A.com. Yeah. Anything else we should cover? Anything else you want to leave people with? Yes, we are here to help uh, sellers succeed. Everything from all kinds of content we have developed. So it's a self-use tool and help is available on the platform at any point in time. You can hire, you can get our experts to, to help you create the content. Whatever you need, it's, it's right on the platform. Pretty fascinating. We didn't talk about user-generated content. Is that, we're looking at lifestyle content. Is, this, is that something you guys help with as well? So we do help with, for example, if you have uh, user-generated videos or imagery that you just want a little bit of touch-up done or edits, edits done, we help with that as well. Great. All right. Particular people you think should reach out to? It sounds like anybody that needs uh, to up their yeah. product photography game, this is a great option. Anyone you want to call and say, come check us out here at, at Dresma. Yeah, so I would, uh, I would uh, recommend anybody, everybody to just uh, download the app, uh, try out the web platform, and uh, reach out if you need any help. Yeah, and check out the free listing. That's a great way to mm -hmm. 
get people trying it out and, and getting the yeah. experience. And we have uh, direct integrations available uh, with different marketplaces and um, uh, storefronts. So you can actually, once you've created the content, you can push it out as well onto the store without the hassle of downloading, uploading, all of that stuff. Okay, very cool. Yeah, so you've got Amazon, Shopify, Walmart, things like that, and you can basically push the imagery out. Very cool. This is short and sweet, Siddharth. I'm really impressed with what you guys have built here. And I know that product photography is often a challenge. And certainly once we get models involved and all the different SKUs and variations, that can take time, that can take a lot of costs. So I appreciate you coming on and showing what can work here. So thank you for coming on. What's working in e-commerce? Okay. Thank you.